Look at the wind on the boys. Your hair's blowing in your wind. It's not the wind. It's not the wind. Hi, boys. So we're gonna keep on moving along. We're in Oregon, right, hon? Yes. All in right. Oregon. The and, of my people. All right. We <laughs> have actually made it here to Prineville, Oregon. Uh, we made really good time. Hey, hon. Do you know what time it is? Hi. You know what time it is? 353. So we made really good time. We didn't really get caught up in traffic at all. And we are at the, I don't know, the Crook Prime County. Crook County RV Park. Mm -hmm. It's actually a very nice uh, RV park here. I can't give you too much of a tour at the moment. But uh, you can see around behind me, there's actually the fairgrounds back there. We've got dog parks all over like every side of the uh, RV park here. And check out this, there's little huts over there, if you can see those. Um, so yeah, we got full hookups, we've got sewer, power, uh, water, we're completely good to go here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the RV hooked up and we're gonna see what we need to do. Let the boys go to do their thing and then we'll probably do a little grocery shopping, fill up our refrigerator again, and uh, uh, we are going to be here for the next couple days, so I think we're heading out of here on Friday, and uh, who knows where we're going to go on Friday. We haven't quite decided yet, so, but it is actually absolutely beautiful here. Nice and quiet. Good views. Great weather. <sighs> nice weather yeah it's nice and warm here compared to uh pacific beach pacific beach was beautiful but uh it's nice to get away from the the humidity that is the uh the ocean so here we are prineville oregon i'm gonna check out the map of prineville Ooh, there it is everything we need to know about the area well not everything but enough to get us by right huh? you're wondering why we are here in prineville we actually uh have someone here in the area that's going to adopt our sugar glider and that is why we are here in prineville uh unfortunately we're just not able to keep her warm enough in the rv and we don't want her to die and we want her to go to a very good home and she will be going to a very good home and uh Mikey, we'll see you guys hey, soon. What? What you doing? Ants, honey. Fucking ants. Yeah? We, are we ant proofing right now? I'm keeping myself from brutally maiming somebody who didn't tell us that there was an ant problem in here before we purchased it. Because hmm. this isn't a local issue. This is, we've had this at every single camping spot that we've ever been at. That is correct. And since when we had sugar ants that freaking tried to work their way into our townhome, peppermint spray kept them away. Yeah. Which is just basically simple peppermint oil with water kept it away. Now, of course, we're worried about water damage, so you can't just go spraying it all everywhere. Right. So here, I'm just going to wipe down all the counter spaces. Ah. Every little area that we've seen them in, just wipe it all down. Plus side, smells good, and it's not toxic to any of your animals. It does smell good. Unless you have an ant farm, in which case, I'm not going to say it. Because, you know, people's feelings, and they get hurt, and yeah. We're not trying to hurt anyone's feelings. Speak for yourself, honey. I hurt everybody's feelings. <laughs> I didn't teach you that. No. No. The Coast Guard taught me that. I mean, uh, <laughs> not sure why we have such a big ant problem, but then again, we weren't really told that there was going to be a lot of issues. I mean, they said that all their, the leaks were fixed, which <laughs> <laughs> we know that wasn't true. Putting indoor caulking on the outside of a vehicle is not going to actually solve that problem. Correct. But then again, you know. I know how to watertight stuff, and you know how to waterproof stuff, so... Mm -hmm. Together, 
We should be able to get this shit done. PJs in Washington. In Castle Rock, Washington. Castle Rock. That's a bomb pizza. Yeah, yeah. So maybe one day, one day we'll actually give you a little tour of our RV and the TV that does not work, that we do not use. We have a different one. We have a shelf that goes right here that we put our new TV on. But yeah. Right, hon? Maybe someday we'll give them a tour. Someday when it's not messy. Someday when it's not messy, yeah. We're still trying to get organized in this place because we kind of had to move in here. Once we get Zoe taken care of, then we'll be able to have that space to utilize and... Those two cabinets as well. Mm -hmm, we'll so right now we can only one. use like half of it. Yeah, because we can't open the other side of the door. Right. Because the cage is in the way. I don't want to move too fast here, but Zoe's cage is right there. And if, as you can tell, it takes up a lot of space. She's so. nocturnal, so she has to stay covered. Correct. Or, well, it doesn't have to stay covered, but she gets really grouchy when you don't cover her because, you know, she's a drama queen. She is. She is. Boy, is she. Man, I've never had So. At this point, our RV is going to smell like peppermint. <laughs> I actually really like peppermint, so it's going to work out nicely, I think. So, so, if you're planning on visiting us and you're allergic to freaking peppermint, don't go inside. <laughs> As you can tell, we have tape on our cabinets right here I because mean, they flop open. What? I already told you how to fix that. New brackets. Well, yeah, we do need new brackets. Let's see. This is kind of a random video. We're a little bit all over the place here. But. I believe you're forcing me. Um, <sighs> you can tell that these little fake plastic whoops sorry I'm not even pointing it up there these little fake plastic hydraulic brackets are cheap and when they were installed they weren't installed I don't think the correct way no, they and didn't, they didn't drill out the hole before they actually screwed in the screw which causes the wood to split because it's cheap lightweight wood and that is the problem with that yeah so you can see our issue here so we're looking for a new method to replace those we're thinking possibly a magnet that would mount right here behind the handle and then mount down here on the uh, on the inside of the cabinet. We would end up having to do that for those two and possibly those two as well. We also have issues with those ones over there. They have bad brackets as well. That's why there's bungee on them, but you know. Well, those have a bad um, locking mechanism they're like little round pegs that go into another round hole and it's friction based so you have to like kind of shove it in there but when it doesn't when the bracket that is round is broken or cracked it slides out all the time what i'm sorry <laughs> oh my bad this is supposed to be a bad thing right um no no I, when you the bracket, shove it in the hole <laughs> as always Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.